Welcome to the monthly Ag Farm update for August 2017. Coming to you directly from the Ag Quit Field Days in Canada. My name is Alistair Murphy and I'm an account manager based in Dubbo, New South Wales. What a difference a month can make in grain markets. We've seen values fluctuate in excess of $40 a tonne over the last 30 days. International markets rallied early with bullish news stemming from lower production estimates coming out of the good old US of A. Uh, the investment funds once again uh, donned the selling boots towards the back end of August as the recent USDA found an additional 10 million tonnes of expected production in the Black Sea region. Uh, closer to home, the Australian crop is in very missed condition. The WA cropping belt managed to get under a report of widespread 20 mils, which has reinvigorated a previously struggling crop. Uh, on the east coast, the southern cropping areas are faring much better than their northern counterparts. Eastern parts of South Australia and the majority of Victoria are looking in good stead with better than average yields expected. Um, though it's a, a very different story in the north and, and northwest of New South Wales into southern Queensland. Um, these areas haven't enjoyed the same level of in-crop rainfall uh, and as a result the crop is really starting to struggle now that uh, temperatures are starting to warm up. Uh, crops located east of the New Highway in northern New South Wales as well as the inner Darling Downs still have good potential uh, but it's the western areas which are really struggling and these are the big producing areas which tend to fulfil the large scale Downs feed requirements as closer located tons become harder to find. Buyers and consumers alike will be watching what opportunities the upcoming sorghum cropping window will present. Uh, there's a lot of fallow country this year in key summer cropping areas, and these areas will be sown to opportunistic sorghum or cotton should a decent spring break eventuate. Whilst prices have recently taken a back step, as international markets appear to be in sell down mode, one would have to think that if the weather remains dry, basis will continue to work to the upside in the northern homes. Domestic values in these key consumptive zones will have to remain competitive so as to ration supply and secure liquidity from a wider than traditional draw zone. Areas such as northern parts of Port Kembla and even as far as Victoria, though this will largely depend on what the relative cost of long haul freight will be post new crop harvest. It's definitely playing out in classic weather market fashion and if any widespread rain eventuates on the east coast in the next few weeks, the current market dynamic will change rapidly. On a finishing note, Ag Farm has a suite of commodity management and cropping finance products available to suit your needs. For more information on these, please call your local account manager on 1300 243 276 or visit agfarm.com.au. Next month's up market update will be at the end of September, so tune in then. And that's it for the Ag Farm market update for the month of August. Thanks very much for watching.